I guess the old adage, better late than never, should be uh, applied to this asteroid shock because NASA spotted a new space rock only 10 days ago and is due to skim Earth today. It's by Sean Martin Express UK. It's a major asteroid said to come close to our planet, traveling at more than 35,000 kilometers per hour. It's known as asteroid 219 UG11. It was first observed 10 days ago, October 21st. This is according to the International Astronomical Union. The asteroid is 17 meters long, which is about what, 20, 60 feet across, making it longer than a female humpback whale humpback whale, larger uh, of the two sexes, and now the asteroid has made a rapid approach towards our Earth and is set to come quite close, peril perilously close, today, November 1st. It's traveling at an astonishing 10.1 kilometers per second, or 36,306 kilometers per hour. NASA said that the asteroid will swing by at just 0 0.5 lunar distances from our planet. One lunar distance is the average between Earth and the Moon, which is 384,400 kilometers or so. So 219 asteroid UG11 will come within 192,000 kilometers of our planet, coming approaching October 29th, coming past us today, whizzing past us, skimming us skimming in uh, astronomical terms. This may seem like a sizable distance, but it's close enough for NASA to sit up and take notice and class it as a near-Earth object, allowing the space agency to study the history of our solar system. I, I don't care about studying the history of our solar system. I just care about you getting these things out of the way. <laughs> because, you know, we've had too many past impacts, which were devastating for life on Earth. And I don't think many of us know where to go and hide, uh, where we don't have <laughs> underground bunkers staffed, stacked with water and provisions and food for the next God knows how many years. And uh, this is just too much, too close for comfort. NASA set out its Jet Propulsion Laboratory website, NEOs. Our comets and asteroids have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits that allow them to enter Earth's neighborhood. No kidding. The scientific interest in comets and asteroids is due largely because of the status of the relatively unchanged remnant debris from the solar system, which was formed 4.6 billion years ago, they believe. These giant outer planets of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and whatever else is out there, formed from an agglomeration of billions of comets and leftover bits and pieces from formation process are the comets that we see today. Not just our solar system comets, but obviously more of the foreign stuff coming in, the interstellar comets. And from what the astronomers are telling us, we'll be seeing a lot more of them in the future. Because there seems to be a planetary system at the edge of our solar system spewing these interstellar comets at us. So they say, likewise, today's asteroids are the bits and pieces left over from the initial agglomeration of the inner planets that include Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. So this uh, thing about 60 feet across, this asteroid will be bring back memories of the Chelyabinsk meteor that in 2013 in February was 20 meters, again about 60 feet across, that exploded in the atmosphere over Chelyabinsk, Russia, and caused damage to over 7,000 buildings, mostly uh, broken glass from the sonic booms and everything. Now that one exploded over Russia, smashing windows, causing injuries to uh, over a thousand people and over 7,000 buildings we saw uh, windows smashed. Now expert, experts noticed uh, had no anticipation of this incident, leading to fears that Earth could be surprised by a more devastating asteroid. It seems to me that we're having a lot more asteroid strikes coming at us uh, well, we do go through asteroid patches during the year, um, August, even now, that precedes the various other things. Now, uh, the, the shooting stars and the fireballs. Uh, but these are just 
seem to me that they're a lot more. Maybe it's because they're, they have better instruments to track them with. Also, of course, the amateur astronomers are, uh, and volunteers are being, paying a very, playing a very significant role in finding them. Now, the chances of major asteroid hitting Earth are small, they say. NASA believes there's a 1 in 300,000 chance every year that a space rock could cause damage if it hits us. Devastating prospect if it's not impossible, though. And that's why, why that we're now uh, having plans which could help uh, Earth from uh, asteroids. In other words, Earth protection systems. And uh, I don't know what they're going to be doing about protecting Earth from all these things. They really don't have any method of doing it yet. They have uh, ideas of nuking them, they have ideas of laser blasting them, they have ideas of even uh, attaching uh, solar sails to them and uh, sort of bringing them uh, back into space. They even have ideas of painting them or draping them with white uh, fabrics. So the <laughs> white fabrics or even black fabrics or painting them white or spray painting them black so that um, they reflect the sun or they absorb the sun's rays and uh, that will somehow tip them somewhere else. God forbid if they get tipped towards Earth, as what happened July 25th when a 40-foot asteroid across was supposed to go sailing into the wild black yonder space beyond our moon. Instead of doing that, it came careening into the Caribbean Ocean. Thank goodness it was not land populated, it was in the ocean. Thank God. And then that's when the astronomers came out explaining to us that it was probably because of the Yarkovsky effect, the solar radiation, the sun's rays, heating the uh, surface of the asteroid. This was what happens usually on the smaller asteroids, causing it to tumble on its axis. It's as if something had impounded it, and it f came off its uh, trajectory and flew into space, into Earth. Anyway. Uh, NASA is now studying asteroid Bennu, others may call it a mini-planet. This is where the Osiris-Rex spacecraft arrived last year. Part of the reason NASA is sending Osiris-Rex is to gather information about the space rock, which is 500 meters in length, it's about 1,500 feet across, and it will be bringing back samples to Earth so that we can understand what it's made of, because that's one of the dangerous asteroids that can come uh, uh, to impact us, and they have to get rid of it. They have to get samples first to find out what they have to do to uh, nudge it off its course or blast it out of space. I don't know what they're going to do. Anyway, NASA is afraid that the asteroid, which has the potential to wipe out a country on Earth, could hit our planet within the 100, next 120 years with its close flyby coming at us in the year 2135. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.